Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my Range Rover on a glorious Springs Day in the UK. But today is not about the Range Rover, it is about an Audi S4 manual V8 convertible as we continue the hunt for my dad's next car. Now, my dad was meant to join me for this intro, but I'm sure he's probably quite busy getting a hip replacement or two somewhere. And so we'll pick up with him very shortly. So you're gonna see this video from when we arrived at EPS, quick walk around of the car. And then we did go out in the car for a test drive of which I was not able to get much footage of because we had this sort of dealer in the back of the car with us. It's a little bit awkward. And so I wasn't able to film as much as I would have liked. So really what you're gonna be seeing is my dad and I talking about the car after the test drive. And it was a really, really interesting one actually, this Audi S4, a V8 manual to be had for well under 10 grand. This one was priced at 7,000 pounds. V8 manual, 4.2 liters in a convertible. Really, really cool car actually. I really enjoyed it, but without giving too much away, go ahead, watch the rest of the video. Okay, we've just arrived at EPS Cars or Elite Performance Studios and uh, we're gonna be test driving this Audi S4 Cabriolet. Importantly, it's a 4.2 litre V8. Hopefully you can hear me over that hoover. Um, these guys actually sell some pretty tasty things like 992, 911s and Lamborghini Aventadors. And this S4 has had a full engine rebuild. So um, really looking forward to driving this. I think we'll probably not be able to film too much because the salesman is gonna come with us, but um, Hopefully it gives dad a good chance to see what he thinks. I think these are really, really good looking cars actually. And the uh, quad exhaust at the back look particularly cool. So it's a little bit tricky to film this one because we've got the sort of the salesperson in the car with us. But what are your first impressions? Yeah, I mean, it V8 sounds glorious. Yeah, it's a bit muted. A bit I'll, muted, I'll... Uh, but sound you know, but still what you, you can, can hear sounds good. V8, can't you? It's um, it didn't feel quite. I've only put my foot down once, but it didn't feel quite as fast as I expected. Okay. Um, I mean, it was, I was watching the revs and the speedo. It was going up quickly. Or well, maybe it just I think doesn't it's, feel... It's quite refined, yeah. actually, because yeah. we went up to 70 for, like, five seconds, and I've driven my Boxster a lot lately, and yeah. that at 70, is, all you can hear is wind. There was no wind in this. That's just true. Noise, That's right? true. So maybe it's quite refined. And I guess it. then the other thing is that interior-wise, you know, it's an A4, so... Which is weird to say, because I was going to say the, the three... I think he's done. Three feels more special but I'm not sure this feels that quite special. That kidnapper's coming back. <laughs> Put the camera away. So we are just leaving EPS cars and there you see that with the S4. There's what you what you could have had. I'm not completely ruling it out. So you liked it. I liked it in that the thought of owning a V8 you know before it becomes illegal or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is 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 quite you know, quite tempting. But tell the viewers what you thought about uh, that experience. Yeah. So, I mean, that was obviously um, a little test drive. We got really lucky with the weather actually, because it's raining now. It was yeah. raining before we got here. Yeah, yeah. And then we just had a spell of sunshine. We had a little window, just a slight window. And we, window. Everything, you know, actually, to be fair to the guy, he gave you a good old, you had a good old run in that. So. Oh yeah. Now, bearing in mind there was three of us in the car, bearing in mind it's had an engine rebuild mm. because these engines, these V8 engines are notorious for the, is it the guides on them? The guides of the cam belt, yeah, and it's quite a complicated, if you look at it, it's like a real, you know, complicated setting. It's like a maze. Of, a maze of, of yeah, I'm yeah. trying to think of the word, it's not quite a maze, is it, but it's lots of wheels and and the guides, as you say, they're, they're made of plastic. And so they get, they're not changed. And they get brittle and they crack, so he showed me some photos, actually, of the work they'd done on this car. So this relates to what you asked me about it was like to drive. It was a little bit underwhelming, if I'm honest. See, I don't know how true it is about, because it does need running in. Probably. He said that, didn't he? He said well, it's yeah, a bit I mean, like a new engine, it needs running in. Now, obviously, whether that was sales talk or... No, 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 that's very yeah. true, but in terms of how that would actually affect the performance of the car... Yeah, whether it would... It's minimal. Kind of notes, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, it's not going to be like so, night and day, is it? That Audi S8 is 340 horsepower. Sorry, S8? S, S4. S4. Yeah, yeah. 340 horsepower, 4.2 V8, and it is, it's naturally aspirated. Yes. 
So I'd imagine that is it's the gearing. This this car you're sort of at 90 at the top of third, aren't you? So it's quite long yes. gears. And yeah. so the power delivery is very much like a BMW 6, it seemed. Yeah, from it the, was. From the passenger seat, it seemed very much like the 335i in terms of. Yeah, you mean that's, the three, oh, the six, straight six, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a low, but it didn't feel, I was just quite surprised that it didn't feel very fast. Hmm, interesting. Um, and now what I don't know is that is that because it was so smooth and the power delivery was so smooth that you just did, because you were saying that, you know, the revs and the speedo were going up pretty quick. Yeah, I think it was just, it's what, you know, it's, it's an S4, so it's sort of actually still quite on the refined, Got it. smooth side. Yeah. It felt like a Grand Tourer sort of setup. So ample power, but not kick you in the back sort of power. Yes. Which you might expect from 340 brake horsepower, to be honest, but. I think it's real. I think I thought a really nice looking car. Yeah. And I actually really, I quite enjoyed the interior on it. And yeah, you know, I was thinking as you were driving along the motor, it's somewhere I'd quite happily do a, a road trip in. And I think with that V8 noise, it would be lovely yeah. car to modify. Oh, for sure. So I mean, I quite enjoyed that car. Um, maybe just to drive, it's a bit typical Audi, dare I say, and just a little bit boring. I guess when we initially did this series and we spoke about car options, I think. The S4 was exciting to us because it was V8, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and manual. And I think, I think we'll agree the sound was quite enticing and fun, particularly with the roof down. Yes, you did put the roof and down. And that, that is, you know, that is a big consider. I mean, yeah. that is really big part of driving a car for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but sound, maybe, yeah. maybe that V8 block is not worth the outlay in terms of, you know, running costs for the performance. Let's well, say. well, I was going to say that's it. That's 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 really good point because I'm quite happy to put up with. Miley, uh, miles per gallon in the 30s, mm. you know, which is what I've got my Z4. Z4 I get. Or high 20s, third, maybe. Yeah. In the, uh, in the S4, but, you know, Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure the S4, I'm getting any, you know, in terms of performance, am well, I... Well, it's, it's the it, feel, it the engine didn't, it didn't give you that feel of, wow, like yeah. I need to drive this more. Exactly. Which I think if you're going to spend maybe 20% more on fuel and running costs, you exactly. want to have that exactly. sort of fizz from the car. And the other thing, um, the other thing, the interior, there were bits I really liked. So I thought the seats were good. They yeah, felt good. And actually the Alicanta, is it Alicanta? Alicantra? Alcantara. Oh, that's the one. Alcantara. Or suede. Suede. Um, the Alcantara and leather, actually I thought was good. Yeah, and it, you know, age is quite nice. And it aged well. well. And so seats very comfortable lots of um, adjustment, electric adjustment, so that was good. I mean, they did, they're nice looking cars. And actually, if I'm honest, I the other thing I prefer about it over the E93 is I actually prefer the rag top. Yeah, well, I think soft Because tops. I think A, there's less to go wrong, and B, I like the look of them. I think, I think it's a really good, I think the, a, the S4 is a really good looking car. I agree, I think it's beautiful. And particularly with those silver um, front pillars, mm. that's that's a really nice. And the quad look. exhaust at the back. Yeah. So as always, please do comment below um, your thoughts on the S4. We did like it to the, ex I say we, I mean you're buying the car, but yeah, we yeah. did like it yeah, to yeah. the point where you wouldn't rule it out. No, not completely. Um, so yeah, let us know your experiences with them, whether you like them or not. And we'll see you very soon, hopefully, for the next episode where we go and drive something else which we're on the way to drive now. Um, and shortly after, hopefully, we end up with you having a new car. And we can show all the viewers that. So thanks again for watching these videos. I'm glad you're enjoying them. And uh, we'll both see you in the very, next one. Very, soon. Oh. Very, very soon. No, let's retry that again. Um, and we'll both see you very, very, very soon. soon. <laughs> you're a loser. <laughs>